Okay, I need to practice the red dot on the Henry. Uh, let's see what I can do. I'm not even quite sure it's fully zeroed in. And these are the same type of rounds that I shot uh, earlier. These are all 357. Okay. Two power makes a big difference. And yeah, I know I shouldn't miss. Oh, short stroke that one. Uh, okay. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I need to practice with the red dot. It is faster to acquire your target with the red dot, I'm finding out. And this two power, man, I'll tell you what, it just brings it in close. I will do some shooting later at 100 yards with this. I sure hope these video, uh, the audio isn't too messed up with this wind. It's been windy all day. Uh, now we got clouds rolling in. It's getting late. I got to get going here pretty soon. Um, I'm going to run some of these across the chronograph in a minute. That'll stop it in its tracks. Okay, knocked it over. That's a cheap sawhorse. Uh, that's what I used. Uh, yeah, cheap sawhorse legs and stuff. Yeah, they, they're really wobbly. I'll modify them one of these days. Okay, let me get some chronograph work going and uh, let's see what happens. And all this brass right here. I mean, it covers by about 18 inches where I just dropped those. That's awesome. That's the nice thing about a lever gun. Don't have to go chase your brass all over the place. Just out of curiosity, I want to see what these 14 grains of uh, 2400 will do. So, might be too close. 1770. Wow. That's moving <clears throat> for cast bullet. 1708. 1627. Not very consistent. 1635. I could expect 16s. Error. I shot off to the side. Okay. I knew that when I shot. Okay, well, uh, 16, 1700. That's moving out pretty good. Uh, definitely bring down a deer. And with cast bullets, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, I think the BHN on those were 15. So, uh, yeah, probably exceeding those a little bit. But one of these days, uh, when I collect some more water jugs. Okay, so we got the Ruger uh, yeah, PC9. Sorry. Been a long day. Uh, you guys may only be seeing this uh, as a part of a video, but this has uh, been an all-day thing here. I've been making videos all day. So what I've got, I got my 17 plus two in here, another 17 plus two here. I got two happy sticks here. But I want to run some uh, rounds across this chronograph to see what these uh, 147 grain uh, bullets are doing. These are cast lead bullet. Uh, these things have been loaded since probably 2004, 2005. So they're a cast bullet. They're just uh, uh, lubed. They're not. Uh, they're not powder coated. So let's see. Okay, red dot on. Okay, where is my red dot? Did my battery die? Yeah, I think my battery died. Okay, 1098, 1103, 1060, 1058, 1066. Let me put the safety on. Uh, I guess I got to get a new battery for my red dot. Uh, one thing a wise man told me here not too long ago is if you're going to use a red dot, Always make sure you carry ex extra lithium batteries. And fortunately, I got a full card of them. I think there's 12 or 15. Thank you, Costco. Uh, okay, let's blast some plates. Uh, I don't know if the center one was going to stay up or not. It's cheap. 
uh, just the, I don't know what you call them, sawhorse legs. So it's not nearly as sturdy as my other two. Okay. All right, red dot is on. Oh, I missed. I was trying to stop it from swinging. I missed. That was it. Okay, I need to test these happy sticks out, make sure they're going to run. Uh, I have not fired a round out of these yet. Okay. Okay, that one didn't feed. Good job, Jerry. You forgot your brass catcher. Hey, guy, guy. You sure tell I'm out of practice. Man. Okay. Now. Let's try this again. Did I miss that? Are you kidding me? Huh. <sighs> Still looking for that brass. Okay, so you do a lot of shooting. Take you all day. Load on Monday, shoot all week. I know, that was the Henry rifle. All I'm doing really is just function testing this. This rifle's getting heavy. Okay, didn't lock back. Huh. These are RWBs, so take it for what you will. The brass catcher's getting full. Okay, let's see if this one does the same thing, being fully loaded. I got 33 all in here. <sighs> Doesn't seem like they want to lock as well. things are heavy okay so uh, this one seems to be running pretty good the heck just went flying there okay these are not locking back eh, for whatever they are all right, last, uh, yeah, where did I put that other magazine? Hmm, I only brought two? Oh yeah, I got the other one sitting over here, I guess. Anyway, that's enough. Empty my brass catcher, my dummy. I had it sitting here all the time. It was in my pocket. Sometimes if you don't have mag holders. But... I'm going to remedy that one of these days. Okay. And these are an OJV bullet, too. That was noisy. Love a red dot. And that's it.
I'd like to thank Uncle Jim for providing this red dot. Man, this thing has been just super reliable. Yeah, okay, the battery went bad. That was a battery that he sent with it. That's uh, been, holy cow, that's been over a year ago.